Imagine for the last five years, you done saved up your income tax money and put it on this man books. Every time you get your check every two weeks, oh, you like, wait, wait, Dante, what you talking about? Well, it's this chick named Kavita. Now, she wrote me not too long ago and asked me, could I tell her story for her? So here it is. So you got this chick named Kavita, ironically, out of the Bronx, New York. I don't know what's going on in the Bronx, but, yo, it's a lot of stuff going on in that borough. Hey, for you cats out there in, in the Bronx, let me know what's going on, man. I keep hearing it's the Terror Dome there. Anyway, so you got this chick named Kavita. One of her homegirls has a brother that's in the penitentiary. And for the last five years, she's been holding him down. Now, I got to keep it real with y'all. Now, Kavita, she like on a kind of the heavy side. You know, she pushing about 320, okay? So, but it, it ain't, it ain't, this ain't no body shaming to the bigger women. You know, we, we love all shapes and types of type of women, man. But it ain't no shout out because, you know, there's some cute big women out there. Now, I don't know what Kavita looked like. I just know she on the heavier side. And this is what she told me. So anyway, she say, you know, one of her friends hooked her up with her brother that's been in the penitentiary for the last 12 years. He got five years to go. Now, through them five years, you know, she every two weeks, she would put money on this book. She'd be writing him letters. He had a son out here that she, uh, you know, like helped co-parent with you know what i'm saying she she done reached out to the baby mama been helping buy the her the, the son school clothes and helping out on birthdays all that holding it down like she the daddy right now oh this where this story finna get real toxic y'all so dude about to get out and she basically prepared a home for this for this dude to get out, you know, a place for him to come home to. Now, we're going to say he get released on a Friday. OK. She pull up there. She at the correctional facility waiting for dude to come out. He never come out. She in the parking lot just waiting for her man. Earlier that day, she done. Went to a spa. She done got shaved down there and everything. Got her toes done. Got her nails done. Got her hair done. She got a wax. All that, right? So she want to make herself look right for her man that she been holding down for the past five years. Well, she waiting. She waiting. Oh, she see some inmates come out, but it ain't him. So she like, Man, okay, is it like another round? But she know that, yo, they releasing cats around 2 o'clock, and now it's 3.30. So she go up to the front, and she like, hey, is anybody else getting released? And the officer's like, nah, everybody that was going to get released, you know, they get out at 2 o'clock. I could check a log and see is, you know, did anything happen. So he looked. And he like, hey, uh, no, nah, dude got released a week ago. And she like, huh? He like, yeah, so and so, yeah, he got released a week ago. Oh, oh, okay, thank you, officer, no problem. So she get in the car and she's sitting there like, wait, why? If he got released a week ago, why would he tell me? He... Oh no, let let me see what's going on. Let me call my friend. Now she about to call, you know, the chick that hooked her up with dude. So she called. She like, hey, um, did you know your brother got released last week? She was like, yeah, I knew that. She like, oh, well, why he tell me that he got released today? And, you know, I drove up here six hours away to, to go pick him up. And he not even here. He got released last week. And you knew this? Oh, girl, I, I thought you knew. I thought you knew. No, I didn't know. Oh, okay. Well, do you know where your brother at? Um, no. I, I mean, he came by here earlier. Okay, girl, when you see him, tell him to call me. All right, girl. So she hang up. So she driving. 
And this woman then drove six hours away, y'all, to go pick this dude up. So she like, man, like, what the heck? Why? He, well, what the heck is going on? So she driving, driving. She trying to play scenarios in her head. Like, maybe he trying to surprise me. But, I mean, a whole week? Like, what? What the heck? He, man, no, I, I just can't. So she end up getting to her house. And she just sitting there. She like, man, what, what is going on? So she get a call from a number that she don't, that's not programmed on her phone. So she like, she asked the phone. She's like, hello, it's him. He he like, hey, what's up, baby? I heard you was looking for me. She was like, um, you told me that you got released today. And I went up there. You were, he like, oh, oh, no, no. Look, see, check this out. I thought I was going to get released this week, but they ended up releasing me last week and I couldn't get a hold of you. So I just been kicked. I just been kicking with my homeboys and at my sister house. So she like, well, why you just didn't call me? He was like, oh no, baby, I, I was, you know, I just got out, and I ain't really wanted to, you know, invade your privacy like that. She like, dude, we've been talking for five years. What you mean? You know, you you my man. I I I want you here with me. And he like, oh well, I'm sorry, baby. This just a misunderstanding, you know. I just, you know, I'm 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 free now, baby. It's all good. Where, where you at? She like, I'm at home. He like, okay, well, look, um, check this out. Tomorrow, how about you pick me up from the bus terminal? She like, why I can't come pick you up now? Where you at? He like, well, uh, I'm here. And she like, well, I, I want to see you. I I mean, I want to touch you. I want to be around you. He like, just just hold on, baby. Just chill. I'm, I just got out. Let me, let, let me. She like, listen, I'm not trying to accuse you or nothing but i hope you ain't laid up with no chick no baby i ain't laid with no man that's the last thing i'm thinking about baby listen you gonna be the first woman that's gonna get this trust me you you been holding me down you've been taking care of my son i got you girl i got you she like okay well just just call around what time you think you want me to pick you up he like i'm gonna let you know later on tonight or early in the morning I, i'll let you know so she like okay okay i love you and he hesitated, it's quiet, he like, I, I, I love you too, baby. Then he hung up the phone. So she's sitting there like, okay, okay. I know he just got out, and it, it just don't seem right, but I'm just going to, all right, I'm going to be the good girl. In the comment section, I need for y'all to answer a question for me, okay? Do y'all think that he playing military mind games? Or do y'all think that it's innocent? Well, he got a lot of explaining to do. Well, anyway, let, let, let's get back to the story. So the next day come around and she just waiting by the phone, just waiting by the phone. Get around four o'clock in the afternoon. And so she called a number back. And I guess he answered it, but like pocket dial answer it. And she hear him talking. But she really can't make out what he's saying. And then the phone hang up. So then she called back again. And the phone keep ringing, ringing. Then she called back like for the third time. And he put it to the voicemail. So she like, man, what the heck? Why? He... Okay, man, this dude playing games. So then she ended up going to bed around 10 o'clock at night. He totally ghosted her. So now he called her around, what, 730 in the morning. Hey baby, where you at? I'm I'm about to be at the bus terminal. She like, man, you supposed to call me yesterday. You had me waiting on you all day, man. He like, oh no, baby, what you mean? I didn't say yesterday. She like, you did. You told me that you was gonna call me like in the morning, trying to pick you up. You like, no, baby, I. There go that miscommunication again. No, I said in two days I was going to call you. Like, I'm calling you now. Like, why would I, you know, just have you? Well, I was calling your phone and you, why you ain't answered? Oh, man, you know, I, I don't know, man. You, I don't even know how to work these phones. Man, I've been locked up for so long, I don't know how to. But I'm on my way to the bus store, baby. Come get me. All right, here I come. So she get ready, put back on her makeup and all this and that, right? She get in the car. To pull up to the bus terminal. Here he go. He see her. They see each other. She run to his arms. They holding each other. They kissing and stuff, right? 
Now, up until this moment, she like, okay, I got my man. It's all good now. He with me. It's all good. So they get in the car. He like, man, baby, I just can't. I just can't stop smiling, man. You, I can't believe I'm here with you now, girl. She like, I can't, I can't believe I got you, you here too, baby. You, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad you here. So they get back to her house now. I don't know if any kids is listening to this story or not, but I'm not going to go into great detail of what happened. But we're just gonna put it this way: He tried to put a baby up into this woman, right? So. They end up doing what they do, right? So she laying in the bed, passed out. <sighs> Women, and, and for the men out there, I'm not trying to hate. I'm not trying to blow up nobody's spot, but it is what it is. When she went to sleep, y'all, he went through her purse. He took her car keys and he took her debit card and he dipped. So when she woke up, like three hours later, she like calling his name and he ain't answering. And she like, well, maybe he went outside for a smoke or something. So she peek outside. She don't see him. So she like, huh, where, where yet? I, oh, well, let me call him. So she call, ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hey, baby, where you at? Hey, oh, hold on, hold on, girl. Look, hold on. I'm doing something right quick. Let me call you right back. So she, he hang up. So she like, okay, yeah, this dude, he, okay, I, I'm not going to trip. I, I, I'm not going to trip. I know he just got out. I know he probably want to be around his friends and family, so I ain't going to trip. Y'all check this out. She only been with this cat for maybe an hour, and then she went to sleep. So now it's like 10, 11 o'clock at night right now. So she like, man, what's, man, this dude, so she like, well, I'm about to get me something to eat. So she go in her purse, and she noticed her keys gone. So she like, hold on, did this dude take my keys? So she look outside and look to the right, and she see her car gone. She like, did this dude take my car? And then she went back in her purse, because she like, if he went in my purse, because that's where I have my keys at, what else did he take? So she go in her, and she looking at she like, oh, this dude took my debit card, too? So she get on her phone and she look on her on her um bank on her bank statement that well, her bank app thing or whatever, and she see six hundred dollars missing, right? So she like uh uh. So she calling 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 his phone. He done put it to the voicemail. So she stewing. She mad now. She like okay, this is getting ridiculous. Let me tell y'all what happened. Now it's about one o'clock in the morning. Dude done turned his phone off. He ain't call her back, nothing. So she laying in her bed mad. So she ended up going to sleep. Why this dude come in right at nine o'clock in the morning? And he come with with an omelet, a side of bacon, and some orange juice. He's like, here you go, baby. Like it's all good. She like, what was you at last night? He like, dang, baby, it's, it's like that. I just... Watch you breakfast, bed and breakfast. Like, what, what's up? Why you got an attitude? She like, dude, you took my you took my keys, you took my car without asking me, and you took my debit card, and you took six hundred dollars out of my account. He like, dang, baby, why you like you? Why you like coming at me like that? I, I thought I was your man. I thought what is yours is mine, and what's mine is yours. The problem, y'all, all he doing is taking and taking. He ain't giving. Well. I, I guess he giving her something else, but hey, um, I guess in his mind it's an even exchange, right? But anyway, so she like, listen, that's not cool. You can't just be taking my taking my stuff without asking me. You don't know what I needed that money for. So he like, look, baby, listen, I love you, okay. Matter of fact, let me. He start kissing on her, you know, and she like, get off me, you know, playfully. Then she eventually gave in, and they end up messing around again. Okay. The next day, y'all, because he stayed in the house with her all that day. The next day, he pulled it. He pulled a stunt again. He take her keys and he gone. But now he ain't gone for one day. He was gone for two days. On that second day, she called her friend like, "Hey, man, where your brother at? Man, he done took my he done took my keys and took my car. Man, he done did this. He did this before, and I told him not to do that." And she like, hey, sis, I, I, I got to tell you something. 
She like what? She like, is you never mind? She like what? What what is it? She was like, are you sitting down? Yeah, I'm sitting down. Okay, my brother, he is back in the county. What? What you mean he back in the county? Yeah, he they talking about violating his parole because he what what did he do? Uh, well he uh, well you gonna have to you gonna find out anyway, girl. He ended up having a prostitute in the car, and he was drunk, and he crashed your car. What? What you mean he crashed my car? A prostitute? Yeah. He had a prostitute in the car, and he crashed the car. He was drinking and driving, and he in the county jail. That's why you ain't heard from him. She's like, oh, my God. What are you? Oh, my God. He crashed my car? Yeah, he he, he crashed your car. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. All right, well, can I see him? No, nah, they you can't see him right now. You got to wait till he fully get in the system. And like I said, they got him on the parole hold. So she like, oh, my goodness, man, this dude. We're going to fast forward a little bit more, y'all. So we're going to fast forward maybe four days. Now he in the system. She go down there. She see him. She like, dude, like, what happened? Like, what what, what is going on? He like, man, yeah, baby, I messed up. I messed up, baby. Uh, my My bad. I, I just, uh, I just been tripping. I, I'm sorry. I love you so much, man. I'm sorry. I just, he like, look, I'm not trying to hear that, man. I'm not trying to hear that. He like, no, baby, I, I need for you to be strong. I need for you to hold me down, man. Cause I, I, I just messed up, man. I, I've been locked up for so long, man. Uh, and I, and I keep messing up the, and, and screwing over the people that love me the most, man. I'm sorry. Cause you just, that just hold me down, please, baby, please. So she's like, I got a lot to, I got a lot to deal with. You know, I got to figure out how I'm going to get back and forth to work. And I had to catch the bus down here to come see you. He like, baby, I'm so sorry. I, I promise. I promise God I'm going to make this up to you. So she like, all right, all right. Two days ago by y'all. Her stomach get to hurting real bad. She like, man, what? I, so she go pee. And she noticed like an odor down there that's not familiar so she like man what's up with my you know my with my vagina whatever so she ended up going to the clinic guess what y'all the doctor come back and say hey um are you like sexually sexually active you you got like multiple partners she like no no i i, I just i've been celibate for like the last past five years and you know, I've been uh, I, I I've been messing around with one guy, but we only mess around twice. And you know, he he my dude. He like okay. Um, do you know if he messing with anybody? No, uh, he he just got out of prison. Okay, okay. Um, well, I I I hate to inform you, but but you got chlamydia. She like what? He like yeah yeah you 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 got chlamydia and um I mean but you could take uh, don't worry. It's treatable. You got to take these five pills right here and um, you should be good. Now, you're going to have a stomach ache. And she's like, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hold up. You said I got what? He, he said, yeah, I, I, you, you got chlamydia, ma'am. Um, it's a tr it's an STD, a transmitted disease, but it's curable. You know, just take these five pills right here. You're going to have a stomach ache and refrain from having sex. Okay. And whoever you are messing with, let them know that you you know, got this so they can come get treated too. So she like, oh my God. Oh my God. I cannot, I can't believe this. I, this dude gave me, okay, thank you, doctor. Thank you. Oh, <sighs> y'all. So she take the pills and she get discharged. So she get on the bus and she just sitting there like, man, I cannot believe this. I done held this dude down for five years i done took care of his son birthdays right christmases easter suits giving him money every two weeks out of my check and then this dude got the nerve when he get out he he crashed my car he take money from me and he and he get oh my goodness check this out y'all i'm gonna be real with y'all baby girl got the raw end of a bad deal now i ain't gonna say all prison dudes is like this but hey if you get any signs i'm talking to you women now now i told y'all already i cannot tell nobody how to program but it is what it is i gotta protect the sisters out there 
if you get you a man and you see any of these signs, hey, it is what it is. Check this out, y'all. Email me if y'all got some wild stories that y'all want me to tell on y'all behalf. Okay, email me. That My email is in the description. And with that, y'all, this is the Dante Show Network. I'm out.